Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you 10 ways to improve your LEGO Droid Army. Tip number one. Most battle droids come like this, without a backpack. But if you give them a backpack, you can make them look much more accurate. This is a simple design using only two pieces. You can give it to multiple battle droids. and it makes them look better and more accurate to improve your battle droid army. Tip number two, giving your droids jetpacks. There is a very simple way to put jetpacks on battle droids, which is to use this binocular piece. Lego does this in sets and it works very well. This is a great way to improve your army because now your battle droids can fly. You can also give super battle droids jetpacks like we see in the Battle of Rindo Vinda. This is a very easy thing to do, using a 1x3 dark gray plate, a 1x1 stud in the middle, and two grilled wedge pieces on top of that. You then stick it in this hole right here to create a jetpack. This is very easy to do and makes your battle droids super cool. You can also use transparent pieces like these to make your battle droids look like they are flying. This is a great way to improve your Separatist army, giving your battle droids a tactical advantage as they can fly above the clones. Tip number three is to create a sniper battle droid like we see in the 2003 animated Clone Wars series. This is very simple to do as all you need to do is get a normal battle droid and build a sniper gun for it. To build our design for a sniper gun, all you need is a pistol a stud with a hole in it on top of it, a black lightsaber hilt with a hand clipped onto it on top of that, and a black lightsaber hilt with a wrench clipped onto it behind it. This creates a long sniper gun, which the battle droid can look through to aim just like he does in the film. You can also put a clip on his back and connect the gun to it so he can easily carry it around. Tip number four. Build a turret for your battle droid. This turret is based off the one we see in the Innocence of Ryloth Clone Wars episode. It is simple to make and it is a great way for your battle droid to destroy the clones. To build it, you need to build two legs and connect them to this assembly. Then build another leg like so and connect it to the assembly. Then combine this bracket and stud with this clip with the, stick, the bar on top with a stud with a hole in it and this handle piece. You then stick this whole thing on top of the assembly. You then put a jumper plate on it. Two technique bar pieces with pins inside of them with studs connecting on the top and two T-joints with a stud with a hole in it to connect to the front of these Technique pin pieces. So now all you have to do is connect your battle droid so he can man the turret. This turret is a great way to improve your Separatist army, which is much more effective than a normal gun at killing clones. Tip number five is to improve your commando droids. We have two very simple ways to improve your commando droids. Way number one is to get these sword pieces and use them in either their hands or on their back with these clips. This is a very useful tip and can make your commando droids much more effective in battle. Way number two is to create shields for your commando droids. This is very simple and we have two designs for it which are very similar. To build them, all you need is this T brick, this headlight brick, then a transparent yellow stud. Then you build this whole transparent yellow segment out of bricks and this whole transparent yellow segment, which creates the shape of the shield. If you want to build the other design, 
all you have to do is replace these transparent yellow bricks with the transparent yellow 1x2 plates. This is a nice and easy build which helps your commando droids be more effective in battle and way better because they are able to hide behind their shields and avoid blaster fire more effectively. Just these two ways help your commando droids be more efficient and skilled in battle. Tip number six is to build a probe droid which can spy on the clones to give the separatists a tactical advantage. This is a simple design based off the one we see in the Innocence of Ryloth Clone Wars episode. This is a very simple design. So the way you build this is first you get one of these one by one bricks with studs all the way on the side and do all four sides of it with black stud pieces. Then you put this gray disc on top, a gray disc on the bottom with an antenna on it. And then you build this assembly with a T-joint and four droid, gray droid arms connected to it and stick it in the bottom so that now you have your probe droid with its four arms and its eyes so that you can spy on the Republic. Tip number seven is to build a tactical droid to lead your army. We designed this one based off the one seen in the Innocence of Ryloth Clone Wars episode. It is a very simple build. First, you build two legs with cone pieces, studs, and wrench pieces. Then, you use this T-joint piece with a stud with a hole in it on top and connect the two legs. Then, you get one by one brick with studs on all four sides and connect flat studs blue to both sides as well as these unique one stud with a bar sticking out pieces you connect that on here and put arms on it so that your tactical droid can have arms then you build the first part of the head with a one by one stud one of these spike pieces and light gray binoculars on top we had lots of trouble with this head so we decided to use sticky tech to connect the next parts to do this you need to stick the sticky tack like that above the binoculars. Then connect this um, binoc visor piece for clones or Mandalorians to create the interesting shape of his head. And then you get a one by one blue stud and stick it right on top. This um, droid is very hard to recreate in Lego pieces. So that is why we used this technique, which makes an interesting tactical droid to lead your army. This is a very helpful and useful droid to have in your army to help it strategize and succeed in battle. Tip number eight is to build Wat Tambor. He is a great figure who helps lead the separatists throughout the Clone Wars and is quite an interesting figure to make. To build him, you get either a 1x2 or a 1x2 jump plate of gold, a 1x2 blue plate, a 1x2 brick with a hole in it and a pin inside of it. Then you stick some sort of blue torso on that depending on what you have. We used a Senate Commando torso. Then off after that you use some Nexo Knight armor. As you can see here we have some gold Nexo Knight armor. Then you get a head. We are using this green head from Chima and that is the perfect color, the olive green head, to create what his head looks like. Then you get this piece, which is from Lego City Firefighters. There is a yellow version of it, but it's really rare and comes in only one set. So if you happen to have that, you could build that. Then on top of this, you can use some binoculars. We have gold binoculars. And then you get a gold grill piece to create how his robe looks. This is a pretty simple design and works well for how he looks in real life, as you can see. He, you could replace the Nexo Knight armor with gray armor and all the pieces with gray armor if you didn't have the gold ones. But he is a super great figure to improve your separatist army and will help them with their strategy. Tip number nine is to give your General Grievous a cape so that he looks better. This is very simple to make and makes your General Grievous look much better. There is a very simple tutorial by Indominus Vader Bricks showing you how to do this, which you can check out. General Grievous uses this cape in Revenge of the Sith and various parts of the Clone Wars, and it makes him 
a better figure overall. This will help him lead the droid army better than ever. Tip number 10 is to give your army bigger vehicles or droids to expand it. There are many different vehicles which the Separatists use and would greatly help your battle droids in battle. Some examples are an STAP like this custom one we built. If you want to know how to build it, please check it out in the cards and description below. A commando droid speeder, a battle droid transport, and a AAT. These will all help your droids in battle, helping them have more firepower and be able to travel farther. There are also many bigger droids which the Separatists can use. Some of these include a Hailfire droid, a Dwarf spider droid, a Tri droid, a bigger Tri droid, which we built from two 501st Battle Pack ATRTs. If you want to check that out, there's a video for it, which will be in the cards and description below. And much more, such as Crab droids, Big Spider droids, and Corporate Alliance tank droids. There are also MTTs, which can greatly help improve your army and its effectiveness. So that was 10 ways to improve your Separatist or Droid army. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please smash the like button and subscribe below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos uh, or other things like that, or please tell us about what you thought about this video, please leave it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time on Sanders 3 LEGO. Bye!